So our next machine um, is called the vacuum former. What this one does is it shapes the plastic around a mould. So you have to make some kind of mould first. So I've got this little kind of cone shape one that I'm going to use. This is one of the Nat 5s used this um, last year or the year before, I think. So we've got a different type of plastic here. This is called HIPS, H-I-P-S. It stands for High Impact Polystyrene. I'm um, not quite used to the polystyrene that you're used to seeing. Um, it comes in different colours. So like the acrylic, it comes in different colours. But we've only got a small range of colours. But we do have the clear as well. All of these sheets have a plastic coating film on one side. So make sure that's been removed. We are going to put the mould into the vacuum former first. So we have the bed here, which the mould sits on. And then that gets sunk down below. We have a clamp. To clamp our material in place so the material has to sit there's these white foam pads all the way around so the material needs to sit right on top of those foam pads you bring the clamp down and make sure it's locked in place what we're then going to do is heat up that plastic by pulling we've got a heating element here pull that across and there's a set timer on here and um, it's set to 60 seconds at the moment and we'll see if that's enough time to heat it up um, it sometimes depends on what colour of um, plastic you're heating up um, and the, the thickness and things like that. So sometimes it can take a little bit longer to heat. Um, so it's worth doing about 60 seconds, checking it and then trying again. So once it's been heated, we're going to push the heating element right back. Make sure it goes right in like that. Sometimes it can be a bit sticky. Pop a glove on and you can check if the plastic has been heated enough. Just give it a little prod and it should be really flexible. Okay. Then we're going to raise the mould up, pull this lever, and you'll see the plastic start to stretch around the mould. Push that right down to lock it in place. And then we're going to switch the vacuum on and that will suck all the air out of there. Switch that off. Give it a little second to cool down. Unclamp it and you can take this off. Depending on your mould, it might pop straight out like this one did and that's made that conical kind of, could almost be like a cup or a plant pot type shape. You have to make your own mould for this unless you want to use one that we've got already. Um, and you have to make sure with your mould, you can't have straight up and down sides on them because then the mould won't actually come out of your plastic and it's stuck in there. So that's not what you're looking to do. Um, we have a few different things that you can use for moulds. Um, not for this project, but a really fun one we have is a mask. So this guy here. Um, so I'll show you that. So again, we're lowering the mould down into the bed. Going to get our bit of hips. Make sure there's not a coating on it, which I think this one looks like it's not got one on it. Place it in. Bring the handles down. Make sure you're getting a proper seal on there and clamp it in place. Pull the heating element across. Let it all heat up. Takes about a minute to heat. Slide the heating element right back in. Raise the mould up. Turn the vacuum on to remove the air. And then let it cool down. Once it's cooled down a bit, you can unclamp it and the mould should pop off. Okay, and you end up with a creepy face. <laughs>